Hi friends! Welcome to Kitchen Princess Bamboo Japanese Everyday Food. Today I will show you how to make fluffy Japanese pancakes. This video is requested by one of my dearest viewers. Thank you so much! This type of pancake is very popular in Japan in nowadays and you have to wait in a long line to get a seat. We love fluffy and airy sweets as I shown in my previous video. Follow the step in this video and you will have this amazingly fluffy pancakes at home. The ingredients are the same as a regular pancake, but the procedure is quite different. Let's get started. First, whisk together the egg yolk and sugar until pale. Add oil and milk in three times and whisk well each time. Sift together the flour and baking powder directly into a bowl and whisk well. You want to make sure the butter is sticky. I want to develop the gluten at this point to hold lots of meringue adding later. Add a pinch of salt and a dash of vanilla paste and give it a good whisk. Set aside while we make meringue. Start whisking by using a hand mixer on low. When all the egg whites become a foam, add a half of granulated sugar. Keep whisking until the sugar dissolves and looks shiny. Add the rest of the sugar. When all the sugar dissolves and the meringue looks shiny, turn the speed to high and whisk until stiff peaks form. It's going to take about 3 minutes. Let's combine the cake batter base and meringue. Add one third of meringue, use your whisk like this tapping motion. The idea behind this is, each wire of whisk cut the meringue into pieces without deflating and mix quickly. Using the whisk to combine is more effective than spatula. As a professional pastry chef, I insist on the productivity. When 80% of meringue is mixed, making a circular motion to combine. Do not mix completely at this point, otherwise you will overdo the butter. Add next one third of meringue and do the same as before. Add the rest of the meringue, mix to 80 to 90%. Switch to spatula, mix using folding motion to make sure every part is mixed. Look at the fluffy cake butter. It holds its shape when we drop if we properly mixed. Preheat the electric griddle, which is called hot plate in Japanese, on very low heat. Electric griddle is quite popular in Japan. I believe each household owns at least one. Especially in Kansai region where I live, we make okonomiyaki often at home with this, this appliance. The lowest temperature of my electric griddle is 140 degrees Celsius and it's perfect for the pancake. Of course, you can use stove and pan. I strongly recommend to use a non-stick pan. Keep in mind that the using the very low heat. Grease the surface slightly with vegetable oil. Do not use butter to bake the pancake. As you know, butter is not pure fat. It contains proteins and other agents that are easy to burn. And there you have it. Look at that thick and fluffy pancake. Smells so good in my kitchen. Transfer to a serving dish and whipped honey butter and dust with powdered sugar. Drizzle warm maple syrup and serve immediately. This is an alternative way to serve this lovely pancake. Put bananas and strawberries and topped with butter. Drizzle maple syrup as much as you want. Girl's favorite style. Which one would you like to try? Thank you for watching the video. Please thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Any questions and future video requests, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Right now, I am working on requested video series, so the next might be your request. Thanks again and see you in a week. Bye!